Ah, a lot. I mean, my brand, if you say it, it's a brand, though. Okay, it's a brand. I was born on social media, you know. Um, if we had to go the tra tra traditional way of uh, co uh, conventional TV or media, you would have to, you, know, you have to join the queue, you have to follow certain processes, you have certain qualifications and all that. But social media made it, uh, that big jump, you know, made it very easy. I'm not the only one, a whole lot of people who go on social media and I see a whole bunch of talents expressing some, themselves and getting paid, you know, in a smooth something, you know, sort of money. <laughs> you know, but social media made it very easy for me to reach a wider audience, you know, without necessarily uh, doing too much in looking for an audience. And basically, it's the same for any other brand now, any other kind of product right now. Get on social media, one or two people like it, you have your following already. You don't have to appeal to everybody, you know. Nothing really appeals to everybody in the world, except food. Maybe water. Because it's because we're lacking water doesn't have any meal. But you have enemies sometimes, some people prefer to drink soft drink. Because advancement is the destiny of life, is the target of life, you understand? Advancement, I advance you. Hello, hi. How are you? How do you do? We move on. Enter my DM, I enter your DM, say hello, I say hi again. Finish. You hug me, I hug you. High five, high five. Finish. The male fans, no, no, I don't want them. Thank you. You say, Baba Afa. Shaman, hey, I hear. Hey, chop knuckle. I see you, I sight you. Finish. Anything for the boys, because you know about healing. Every time you're healing somebody, drop something now. Ah, at least you're watching all this thing. Hey, find something. Whether it's one small car that a uh, brand new one that you're not planning to use now. Not every time you're healing a person. Or maybe it's one house in the Kohi that your father didn't know who to give yet. He said, Daddy, dash and longer. It's not too much. I wish too much. Finish. God bless cameraman. It's a bit like brush, but he said, No, it's not too much. What makes someone a good actor? This. Your ears. You have to be able to listen. Listen very well to the script. Listen to the director. Listen to the other actors. Be patient, you know, observe, watch. Characterization. Because really, in acting, what you are basically trying to do is become somebody else. You are not a madman. They give you skills. They say, now you are mad. You have not been mad before. Okay, fine. You have to take on the character. You are not a, a man, you are a woman. You have to be a woman now in a movie. You are not a, a police officer, you are a student. Now you have to act like a police officer. So basically you have to learn to watch and listen. Most times you listen more. Observe people, observe how people talk, mannerisms, how the body language, and copy that as accurately as you can with the words they tell you to say. Everything still boils down to being attentive. You know, you have to just really be attentive, watch people closely and see how people move, how they walk, how they sit, how they slouch, how they form their words, how brightly their eyes pop open when they are talking, you know, how they shape their mouth when they are talking, you know, how they react to things, facial expressions, how they smile, how they laugh, then copy that and create another character from it. Or just use what you have seen and place it exactly on the set of words that, is in, uh, that are in the script. Basically, you just have to interpret yourself in other ways that you are not. So you have to be able to copy people's um, entities, people's essence. It's you people. It's we and you, all of us together. We will not allow them to stay. Free them. It might not say you marry the woman. You are already checking the, man, the woman Instagram account. Did you like the picture you posted yesterday? You didn't like it. Something is brewing. You could enter vlog. Trouble in paradise. Uncle did not like Auntie's picture yesterday. Free them now. What's your own? Is it your page? How about next thing you're already planning? Uncle and Auntie did not wear the same clothes. Last oh, one bed. Is it by force? He used to kiss her on the lip. He now kiss her on the neck, on the cheeks. Love is drifting. Ha ha. What's your own? Free them. I think our own is too much. I'm monitoring them like spirits. Why? They're free people. If they have small challenge now, allow them to, to arrange now. Even mat and teeth, the tongue and teeth, they don't used to have challenge. You don't used to bite your tongue before. And then you, maybe you see free ice cream or a wolf cake. Or you go to Ambe and you see jollof, extra jollof. You chop it, bite your tongue. It's happened now. 
So I think people need to free uh, celebrities as just human beings, you know. So marriages and celebrity marriages to the challenges are huge. Everything you do, people read meanings to. And uh, that makes it much more difficult. And everything you do is out there. And, and so people need to chill a bit too. You know, couples, especially known famous couples, need to keep their personal life off public view. You know, not everything needs to be posted, not everything needs to be said. You know, there are things nobody needs to know about. There are questions when you go for an interview, you don't need to answer. Just smile and say, next question. Oh, yeah, next question. Ah! Let's not lie, oh. Give me boots. Yes, yes, beautiful people. This is Frank Donga. And you're watching Broadway TV. Don't touch that. Ah, you already know. Leave it there. Free it. Let it live. Keep watching. I drop the mic.